Hi, Alfonso. Hi, Jorge. How are you? Very well. Okay, today we're going to focus in a new chapter. Today we're going to study how the economy works in the short run. Right. As you know, the demand is the most important factor in the short run. In fact, production of goods and services are determined by it. Yeah. There are many factors that affect demand. Consumer confidence, fiscal policy or monetary policy between others. But first, let's start by summarizing what we have seen in the previous topics. Could you help us, Jorge? Of course, Alfonso. In the previous classes, we studied about the goods and service markets and the relation between demand, production and income. Then we studied about the financial markets and the relation between monetary policy and savings and interest rates. In this topic, we are going to put it all together, the financial and goods markets, in order to determine at the same time the production and the interest rates on an economy. And what about the role of the government in the economy, Jorge? You're right, Alfonso. We will study how the government influences our economy by its policies, either monetary or fiscal. By the way, do you know the name of the person who gave the name to this model we are going to study now? They call it ISLM model. It is a macroeconomic model that describes the equilibrium in an economy, given the level of production and interest rate in the economic system. It helps to explain graphically the consequences of the government decision of a fiscal and monetary policy on a closed economy. The model represents the sometime equilibrium. In it, prices remain constant. Graphically, we can represent it by two intersecting curves, named IS and LM. The ISLM model was inspired in the ideas of Keynes, although it includes also some principles of the neoclassical authors. However, the first uh, economist uh, who started it was uh, Hicks in 1937, and it was popularized and extended by Hansen. Fantastic, thank you very much. Now, knowing this, I think it's very important for us to understand how this course is going to be structured. Let us explain it to our students. Okay, in, the, in this chapter, we're going to see three more videos. In the first video, we're going to study the good market, in which we're going to see through the, what we call the investment saving model, or IS model, how it works. In the second one, we're going to see the financial market and through the, what we call the labor monetary model, or LM model, also its equilibrium. In the third one, what we're going to study is both models joined together. So we are going to study what we call the IS-LM model, in which it shows us the financial and fiscal policy. After listening to the videos, you will have to fulfill a questionnaire. That questionnaire is part of your final mark. If the result is not adequate, you may look at the videos again. However, you can't repeat the test. It's also good to know that in Moodle we have opened a forum where students can share their thoughts, doubts, ideas, in which they can help each other about this topic. And now, let's move to the following video, in which we are going to see the investment saving model, what we call the IS model. Let's go! Let's go!